Friends can hear your Thrifty Apprentice. Happy Friday, everybody. And in today's video, we are going to be doing, well, I don't know what we're going to be doing. I have happy mail. On my doorstep arrived a little box, and in the little box was this beautiful package. So I decided I would wait and share it with you. We are going to be taking a first look at whatever is in this package. So there is a little note attached that I won't read because it's addressed to me. And I honestly do not know whether or not the person who gifted this to the studio wants it read. And so I'm just going to err on the safe side. And we're just going to say this was sent to me by my wonderful artsy friend, Art Nerd. That's right, Art Nerd, thank you so very much. And we are about to dive in. So let's have a look. <clears throat> and here we have the all in one modular art box. Uh, okay, I'm Art Freak Out. Our nerd freak out happening right now, right here, right now. Design your own art box with different modules. Okay, what do we have here, my friends? Checking out the side of the box, connect the modules. It's giving you step-by-step -step instructions on what each module looks like here. Oh my goodness, you have a palette, so you can store palette paper, or as a dry palette, lid, storage, versatile wet palette, mixing this area here. What's that? Efficient paint usage. So you have a palette and perfect seal, more than 60 days, keep paint fresh. Customize the number of modules according to your needs. This is so cool. Water bucket, detachable water tank, silicone brush cleaning insert, inner brush holder, keep brushes wet, outer brush holder, air dry brushes, versatile wet palette, airtight palette storage, disposable palette paper for acrylic, watercolor, gouache, or oil, highly moisturizing sponge, five millimeters thick. Our original product and photos are protected by patent and copyrighted around the world. So basically, don't copyright and infringe on their stuff. That's what they're saying. You won't read through all of that. It's made in China, designed by Cry Drufi. Oh, I know I butchered that. I know I butchered that. You take a look. There. Yeah, so friends, if you are familiar with this company, jump in the comment section and let me know because this is my first time seeing it. Flipping it on over. Just so you can see the side of the box. And there we have it, friends. That's what's in this bad baby. Let's crack it open. Okay, this is honestly a new toy. <laughs> Greatness comes from a small beginning. We believe in the power of details. We have some goodies inside the box. This is, a, this is so much. What is, what is all of this? Okay, so this must be all of the inserts for the inside of the palette. We have four in one disposable palette papers. There's 10 sheets for all of the wet mediums. And then it, the product features are listed here. Next up is the mixture special mixing paper for miniature paintings. 
mixture, special mixing paper. So what do they mean mixed media paper? Disposable paint mixing palette paper, save your time and reduce hassle. As smooth as mixing on glass and plastic palettes. Okay, that's what's up. Hottie Moisturizing Sponge. And we have two of those. And they are truly thick. That's pretty cool. Moving on here, looking in the top, I did pull something out just a second ago. Let me see if I can get it out. Womp, womp, womp. Okay. And that clips back on the side of the palette. Oh, that was easy. So here we have some buckets or some brush holders. Okay, with rest on the inside for the brush. That must be for the side just for drying. And then the opposite side must be for if you want your brushes to stay wet. That's cool. Then we have water buckets here. And on the bottom of the water buckets are now I don't see how let me move this out the way before I break something and I'm gonna be so terribly upset. So it looks as if though they snap on from the side. Okay. That is actually really secure. That is super secure. And then we have my, my more goodies. All in one module art box user manual. Tips for using a brush holder, tips for oil painting, tips for taking care of your brushes, tips for cleaning paint residue on silicone inserts. How to clean your art box, how to keep your paints fresh, and then a warning section. Real big and red, you can't say you missed it. Okay, welcome aboard. Recommendation, re recommend, recommend our products to your friend. Um, okay, so share your post, hit your friend, and tag us on Instagram. Okay, so it gives you a little. Facebook and Instagram QR code that you can use to um, basically advertise it. So let's see what we have next. I'm going to really have to take time to play around with this and see exactly what's what. I just want to take each module apart. It's so... It's There we go. It snapped in so tight. Sorry if that hurts anybody's ears. The next one is pretty much the same. And then I'm assuming the bottom two are probably going to be the same. And just have... Okay, well, that just kind of popped off. And this is what we're... Okay, and that is the palette. This is actually really cool. It is um, very interesting. And the bottom one, again, a palette. Okay, so, hmm, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take time to play around with these to see how I want them to go. And I, I don't know, we need to maybe put something in them. Um, it keeps paint fresh for 60 days. So what I think I want to do is put something in them that I don't mind painting with directly from the tube, but that I know when they dry down, they won't crack and they will be um, pretty good to go. This is Artner. You rock. You absolutely rock. Guys, I'll be back. Okay, my friends, I gave it some thought and this is what I decided on. So, I love this whole module idea of being able to mix and match things. What I've decided to do, I have the bucket module, which I've set up for the drying rack, 
for the dry, dry brushing and it also has the holders for the inside if you wanted to keep the brushes wet, which I typically don't. So I'll probably just stick them at the top there and use that as a brush holder once they're dry. Um, I put the scrub pads in the bottom. So I think this is so cool and I'm gonna be able to move it from palette setup to palette setup. Now for the palette setups, I'm gonna be using both of the Stay Wet modules, which we'll talk about that in just a moment. You're gonna find what I do a little crazy. You know me. Um, and then for the modules that would hold the pads, for like if you were using oil or acrylic or gouache in order to keep it wet in the process of painting, and from the box, it had the pellet on the top. So I've decided to turn these into storage mod modules to pair with the wet, with the pellets. In each one, since I'm only gonna be using watercolors in these, um, I've put three of the ready to go pellets face down so I won't scratch the top surface. In each one, I've put a black and a blue fountain pen and the idea is that the black can serve for a fine liner if I need it to. There's a white color pencil for highlighting. There is a empty water brush just in case. There is a HB pencil in each one, an eraser, and a credit card scraper. And I'm going to be putting those with each of the palettes. So I'll just get that way. Is it going to close up? It might not close up because of the pen. I'm sure I can get it to work. There we go. So I'll be putting this one. Well, not that one. That one we're going to actually put something in. This one I'm going to put to the side because I haven't decided just yet what I want to put in the, um, the palette. So I'll just clip those two together and I'll be able to put that away. Um, until I decide and this is how this is it's going to be so cool um, When I need to set them up, I can just move the water bucket from pal from pallet set up to pallet set up So that'll be for a little down the road when I decide what to put in it as far as this one is concerned The one we're going to be working with on camera today I think that the way these are set up on the inside is really cool for this reason you can put your paint to the far right side of each wheel. And then the area to the left side of each wheel is bigger. So if you wanted to make washes in there from each color, you could, and I think that's so cool. And then the, you have the three larger ones here, it'll hold 12. So I've selected to put inside it my White Knight 12 tube set. These are 10 milliliter tubes. I'm not going to put you guys through the process of watching me pan it, I promise. Um, the next time we come back, they'll already be panned. So I have an idea as far as the three larger wheels are concerned. I think I'm going to put the three colors that I would, would use as my primary, especially for mixing, here. And then I'll divide the other colors out amongst the remaining wheels. So, these are Stay Wet palettes. As you can see, they're designed to seal off the entire wheel once it's closed and clamped down. Now, the box says it will stay wet for 60 days. The ironic thing is, you guys know, I don't really paint from wet watercolors. I only paint from dry down watercolors. Even if they come from a tube, I allow them to dry down. The only time I really paint from wet is when I'm using gouache especially some of the sets I've gotten lately. So although it's a stay wet palette, I am gonna be tubing, uh, panning it up from these tubes and I'm going to allow it to dry down. And then I wanna paint, I wanna use it. Um, I'm gonna do a demo with you guys. Don't know what I'm gonna paint yet, but the very next clip you will see because we'll be painting together. So hey friends, before we jump into the painting demo, I want to take time and share the swatching sheet with you from the White Knight 12 tube set. Now this video is not about the paints, so there will actually be music playing during the demo instead of narration. We're really just looking at the art box in this particular video. We will be reviewing the actual paints in a separate video. But do not let that discourage you from 
painting along if you need to slow the video down remember the gear on the video player and i hope you guys enjoy the demo
So this, my friends, in all honesty, um, is pretty amazing. Now, there have been a few days in between me shooting the original sort of unboxing uh, to get to doing the painting demo in between doing the painting demo and getting to this part of the video. So I've really had time to kind of play around with it, mainly to put brushes in the holder to see how long they would hold. So let's just kind of take a look here. Um, I think the palette design is super, super smart. I love the fact that um, there are four modules initially that you can mix and match. You can take a set of watercolors, two different set of watercolors. You can take a set of watercolors, a set of granulating watercolors, a set of watercolors, a set of gouache, a set of acrylics, a palette of gouache, a palette of oil, a palette of acrylics. You can just mix and match and you have two of them that you can carry at the same time. And I think that's absolutely fantastic for on the go painting. Now, I just recently found out that April is uh, plain air month, I believe. Um, and so I'm going to be trying to do some outside painting and I'm going to be taking you guys along on that journey with me. And I think this is going to be perfect to go along with some other things that I'm planning to put into my little to-go bag. And I will shoot that video um, coming up really soon. So, of course, you guys know in the second module little set I put together. There's stuff in the storage tin, but I don't have anything in this palette. I'm going to be putting something in there, and we may be panning that up on camera together. Now, the latching system is pretty unique, and I think it's absolutely secure. Um, I didn't have any issues with getting them to latch together securely, nor was there any issues with getting them to unlatch. I don't think, even if you typically have issues with your hands that these are going to be a big problem at all. I just think this is so unique and whimsical, yet functional. I love the fact that it's aesthetically pleasing without being too feminine or being too masculine. It's totally utilitarian and functional, although the design is, you know, pretty just kind of modern and straightforward. Now, of course, in this palette that we used on camera, I did put the White Knight paints in here. Now, I actually think that the palette design is pretty brilliant. Um, I love the fact that the wells are so big. You can put your paint on one side of the divider, and then you have room on the other side of the divider to, like, mix out your washes of that color with. Um, that was just so unique to me. I really like this setup. It will hold 12 different colors, so plenty of colors to take on the go with you. You can uh, put your primaries, a couple of your convenient colors and convenience colors in there if you choose to like make up your own palette um, from different brands. But uh, for this particular one, I'm going to leave this being the White Knight 12 tube set, and I'll get around to eventually reviewing these paints, so I'm not going to mention anything about them in this particular video. Other than to say, whenever I left the palette top off, the paints would start to dry out. These paints are still semi-moist. They have not completely dried down because there are times in between using this over the last couple of days that I would cap the palette, um, forgetting that I was actually allowing the paints to continue to dry down. And at that point, it actually stops the drying process. So these paints have stayed semi-wet and semi-moist over the last four or five days, although um, the top to the palette has been sitting off at certain points. So I'm definitely believing that um, it lives up to its 60 day stay wet in the palette claim, as long as you keep the top on it and you top it off after you initially put the tubes or once you're you're done with it. Now you can mix in those wells. I didn't actually mix any different color um, washes in those wells, but you can do that. And I'm probably going to do that on the go. Now, as far as the palette part of it is concerned, having something to mix on the little storage unit, um, or if you want to call it the acrylic unit or the oil unit, if you're going to be using the stay wet sponges in order to use those different mediums. On top, there are these clips that hold down, um, as you know, the little disposable palettes that they give you. 
Well, I used one, not this brand, not this one, but there's another one, like a miniature palette that comes in there. I used it and it did okay. I haven't actually used this particular one, but the, the one in the other pack, it did okay, but I didn't really care too, too much for it. So I took a piece of cardstock and put it in a lamination pouch and afterwards cut it down to fit in the clamps to make a palette and the white card stock was for the purpose of being able to see what I mix. And that has served an amazing, amazing purpose. As you can see, the paint will dry on it and it can be reconstituted. So that's what I'm gonna do for this one as well. I probably make, well, I only need two um, because they're in the lamination pouch, they're pretty permanent. So I can just clean those off and continue to mix on them. But overall, this is an absolutely amazing design to me. Here is the well unit of it. Now, the well module has two cups. There's some scrubber pads in the bottom. Now, I didn't actually put water in these, but I did use this for the brush test. I put different size brushes in here um, a couple of days ago just to see how long the rubber would hold before maybe a brush or two decided to fall out. I have to say none of the brushes have fallen out and it has been four or five days. Um, you can put different size brushes in the units as you can see. You can put them on the outside with the bristles going up. If you wanna use the holders on the inside for the bristles to go down to stay wet. Um, it, holds, oops, it holds different sizes in there as well. Now that fell off only because I pushed it down. But these, uh, brush holder units clamp on really well and really securely to the side of the palette module here. And I just, it is just a, such a unique and functional design, but it's cute. I think it, it's cute. You guys know I like simple logoing and, and things that's got bold colors. And I think it, it, it even goes really good cute with this brush collection as you can see so overall i would have to say if i was giving this a rating on a star scale i would give this five out of five stars i think this was an absolutely amazing gift thank you so much art nerd for this this is um this is pretty a class here this was a wonderful find something i have never run across um, so I'm so glad you did. And I'm so glad you thought of me and decided to send this. It is something I definitely suggest, guys. You get everything you need in one box in one go. Here we go. So you get everything you need in this box. Of course, the brushes are not included. But both of the painting, um, both of the Stay Wet palettes, both of the acrylic oil palettes are storage unit modules, if that's what you choose to put, turn them into. Um, two wells with plenty of brush holders that function really well and hold your brushes without them falling out. Um, this is pretty cool. Now, <clears throat> it was a gift to me. And of course, I'm gonna always be honest. So if I didn't like it, I would say I didn't like it, but I really do like it. And that is my honest opinion that I would give it five out of five stars. Now, if you were interested in sourcing this product, I do believe that it is currently around the $46 mark. And I don't think that there's an issue with me telling the price of it simply because, um, you know, it was sent for the purpose of review, if I'm not mistaken. I do believe that it's, that was the intention. And I think for that particular price point, all that you get for the fact that there are two stay wet modules, two modules that can be used as storage and will help acrylic or oil stay wet um, for an extended period of time, two buckets, plenty of brush holders, scrubber pads in it. Then you get the addition of the um, miniature to-go palettes or the regular to-go palettes that I actually have in there. You can make you a makeshift um, mixing area like this if that's what you chose to do for a more permanent solution like I did. And if you guys want me to show you how I did that, I'll be glad to include that in an uh, upcoming video. So for the price tag of $46, I think it is a pretty cool find. I am going to be sure to link it in the video description just in case you want to get your hands on it. 
I do not think it is a bad buy. I do not believe that you would regret adding it to your art supply arsenal. So friends, there you have it. I know this video may have been a little differently formatted from the other ones, but I really did not know what to expect with what we were doing here. So if you heard, saw anything you liked in this video, <clears throat> excuse me, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up to help get it in front of other viewers like yourself. If you so choose, go ahead and share the video. Sharing is caring and it'll do the exact same thing. Drop me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Is this not cool? I mean, if you don't think it's cool, that's cool. You know, I don't mind people disagreeing as long as they disagree respectfully. Um, you know, I I just think it's really cool. Jump in the comment section, let me know. What do you think of it? And what do you think of the $45.95 price point? for what it is and for what you get. You can check the video description for all of the relevant links, most recommended product list, um, link for paints, pencils, pe uh, paints, pencils, pastels, and markers, the Thrifty Apprentice sponsored Facebook group, all of the links to support the channel, Etsy, Patreon, which is a wonderful membership that offers a lot, as well as the artist's wish list, which I can thank um, wonderful viewers for suggesting. Thank you for joining me, guys. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, as I tell you at the end of all, just keep creating.